The problem space and solution space refer to two distinct phases in UX research and design. When describing these two phases, I like to refer to the double diamond model created by the UK's Design Council as a helpful visual aid. The problem space can be represented by the first diamond, which includes the discover and define stages. In the problem space, a team is discovering information about the problem to be solved, defining what the problem is, as well as understanding who the problem affects. The second diamond represents the solution space, where solution ideas are being explored, designed and tested. Both the problem space and the solution space involve user research, but each space requires different user research methods. In the problem space, since we're trying to learn about the problem and the affected users, we'll need to utilize exploratory research methods like user interviews, observational research in the field, and diary studies. These methods give us an understanding of users' behaviours, expectations, and needs, which we'll use to inform the solution ideas we come up with when moving into the solution space. In the solution space, since we're trying to learn about the solution, and if it works as intended, we'll be utilising evaluative research methods, like usability tests, tree tests, and card sorts, these methods will help us design solutions that are intuitive and easy to use. Too often, teams neglect problem space research by jumping to the solution space to explore solution ideas. This is a shame because both types of research are needed to develop solutions that are both useful and usable. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, nngroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live, hands-on UX training.